After eight years of this NDP Liberal government, many Canadians can no longer afford to feed their families. Last year, two million Canadians visited food banks in a single month alone. But instead of bringing down the cost of food, the Prime Minister increased the carbon tax on groceries by 23 per cent on April 1st. Clearly, this Prime Minister is not worth the cost. Instead of making things worse, will the Prime Minister finally cut the cost of food by adopting Conservative Bill C-234 to take all carbon taxes off of farmers in next week's budget? The Honourable Government House Leader. It's important that we talk in this House about all of the supports that we're providing to farmers and uh, the agricultural community in the context of our fight against climate change, Mr. Speaker. But I would also point out that after having Conservative Senators threaten female Senators on amendments on this bill, this is a Conservative private member's bill that they can prioritize at any moment and bring to a vote in this House. It's up to them. C-234's fate is decided on the Conservative of side of the house here, here. Mr. Speaker. Right. the honorable member from Chilliwack hope Mr. Speaker, this Liberal government is completely out of touch with ordinary Canadians who can't feed their families with phony Liberal photo ops. Canadians are already lining up at the food banks in record numbers, and increasing the carbon tax on farmers and food is only making things worse. Seventy percent of Canadians want this government to axe the tax, and half a dozen premiers are demanding an emergency meeting on the carbon tax crisis. So will the Prime Minister stop hiding and hold a carbon tax conference? with the Premiers and listen to their plans to axe the tax. The Honourable Minister for Natural Resources and Energy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Again, I would implore the Conservatives in opposition to actually use facts when they actually make statements. 200 economists in this country have validated the fact that the carbon price is the most efficient way to reduce emissions and is done in a manner that is affordable. When Premier Mo actually came before the, uh, the committee a couple of weeks ago, journalists actually called the statements that he was making, which are the same as what this fellow is making, a parade of nonsense and completely dishonest. I totally agree. 